So have you ever wondered what it's like to go flying on the lake in a boat over 100 miles an hour? Have you ever heard about Seabrook, Texas? Do you even know where Seabrook, Texas is? Do you know, do you know what major things are near Seabrook, Texas? Hi, I'm Martha Bennett and I'm here to tell you. So I'm here today to talk to you about Seabrook, Texas. So when you come to Seabrook, you're gonna see rows of wooden houses, some on stilts like beach houses and some that are stucco on the water and beautiful and who knows how many millions. Plus we've got our beautiful condos and all of them have boat slips or the majority of them have boat slips. So what you're gonna see is a lot of marinas and you're gonna see a lot of boats. As a matter of fact, Seabrook lies in the area called the third largest boating community in the nation. In the nation. That's right. There's so many things to do here in Seabrook. We don't want you to miss it. But it is tiny. And so I just have to tell you that the median resident age here is in the 30s. Yes, it is. So it is a very hip fishing town and very young and great little place to go to start a family and to learn how to fish, to learn how to sail. There's yacht clubs, there are boat clubs, there are sailing clubs. There's so many things you can do around here. You won't ever be bored. Did you know that Seabrook, Texas is next to the NASA Space Center? Yeah, the Johnson Space Center. Houston, we have a problem. That's right next to Seabrook. So one of the greatest things about Seabrook, Texas is that it's a historical little area and everything tells a story. All parts of the city tell a story and especially whenever you see all of the pelican statues that are all around. And they're the most cute things I've ever seen. That's why I love Seabrook. Now Seabrook, Texas is a tiny little boating and fishing community. It's maybe called quaint. Seabrook, Texas has so much to offer. The first thing that I think is really great that draws people to it is that it is next to NASA Space Center. So Seabrook, Texas has so much to do all year round. They have events already scheduled for the whole year. They always have these certain events. Some of my favorite things to do in Seabrook are go to a floating barge on the water for drinks and really good food. And you can bring your boat in. You can dock your boat there and get a break after being on the water for a while. So they call that place, it used to be called the Turtle Club. That was back, back in the day. Now it's called Barge 295. It's a wonderful establishment. It has so much to offer and it's on the water. It is Barge has an outdoor facility that a stage is built for bands to play really on a grassy hill with bars as well out there. I mean, there it's so cute. It's such a cute place. So Barge 295, the fact that it is a floating barge and it's a restaurant bar on Clear Lake is one of the best places you should go. Another thing that that I think is really great about Seabrook, and a lot of people don't even know about this, but it's about the hike and bike trails. There is quite a few, and you can really get your workout there, and you can go boating, hike and bike, and then jump in your pool. So in Seabrook, Texas, the hike and bike trail is over 13 miles. Howdy, y'all. Hope you're doing well today. Letting anyone see our, our wonderful third largest boating community in the nation. There is fun and fun-filled things to do here all the time, all year round. Some of the most amazing views at Clear Lake. So you want to come to Seabrook, Texas? Well, we want you to come and visit us. We have a lot of great things. And one of my favorite things, since I'm a realtor, is the houses. But what I like the best 
is the waterfront houses that have boat slip. So that is one of the reasons why I love Seabrook, Texas the most out of any place everywhere. So in Clear Lake, we have Seabrook, Kima, League City, Webster, and Nassau Bay. Those are the five little cities that encompass, encompass around our really large body of water called Clear Lake. And Clear Lake dumps into the Galveston Bay, which also we have a road called Toddville that goes along the coast and has all kinds of waterfront property on that Galveston Bay. So you can get 11 miles of fresh water is Clear Lake and salt water is the Galveston Bay. So it's a wonderful place to come. You should come and visit us. Some of the things that I love best about Seabrook are the homes and the boats and fishing and the hike and bike trails. Yeah, I like the restaurants and bars too. I love the bars that are on the water and you can drive your boat there. So just think about it. How about you go to work today? You might go to NASA. We have NASA Johnson Space Center here. We also have a bunch of engineering firms. We have oil refineries. We have industries. We have oil rig companies. We've got contract. We have so much here. That's why everybody's moving to Houston because it's a lot of fun, but you don't want to live in the hustle and bustle. So you move to Seabrook and you get the quiet, calm, peaceful area where you can have your boat. At Seabrook, there's so many wonderful homes on the water. We have a lot of different types of waterfront homes. We have some that look like beach bungalows, beach houses, and then we have the Mediterranean stucco uh, million dollar ones. So I love the water and I love to be on the water. And I know that if you lived in Seabrook, you would like it too. You can have an apartment that you rent and ha has a boat slip. You can buy a condo and it might, it might have a boat slip. You can buy a house or a beach house and it could have a boat slip. And then you can have the million dollar Mediterranean homes that are on Clear Lake directly with beautiful views. And they also have a boat house. Some, some don't, but here's the thing. It's so beautiful. The thing I love about Seabrook is that you can work at a huge industry and go to work every day, but on the weekends you can relax and feel like you're on vacation. It has 45 pelican statues around the whole city. So this is the most unique thing, and this is really, I think, why I fell in love when I lived in Seabrook. So let me just explain that we have a bed and breakfast at Seabrook, downtown, like the historical district for Seabrook. And in front of that bed and breakfast is a pelican. And the pelican statue has information about this bed and breakfast. And it is dressed just like it's staying at the bed and breakfast. So we have 45 all around Seabrook. Many others, and I wanna show you those great pelicans. So there is a million things to do in Seabrook, Texas, and I wanna show them all to you. Loved, I love all the cities around it too, but Seabrook has got my heart. So Seabrook has located on Clear Lake, and also on the Galveston Bay. There are many beach houses, condos, places to live with boat slips, and we also have gated multi-million dollar properties. It, Seabrook always has amazing events almost every month. They're pre-scheduled. So I'm gonna tell you about Seabrook, Texas. It has a long list of things that you can do. It has boat races, it has car shows, it has yacht club membership, it has four huge marinas, it has boats galore, and it's also right up next to the other four cities around Clear Lake. And we just really enjoy the quaint, really small feel. I want you to come and see the boat races where the boats go over 100 miles an hour, close to 200. It's a sight to see. So join in for the next video I'm going to talk about the Texas Outlaw Challenge and the Texas Outlaw Challenge information you don't want to miss. The Outlaw Challenge is every June in Seabrook and it is a four-day fun-filled event. It is all about high performance, high-end high performance boats, speed boats. You get to see them, touch them, feel them. Some you may get to ride in them, but it's pretty scary going over 100 miles an hour and some of them close to two.